There's a lot of work for everybody during an exercise. The airmen at the 1st Special Operations Communications Squadron are no exception. They're working long hours setting up radios and satellites, establishing internet and coded and uncoded email. Even though Exercise Operation Torn Archer is a simulated environment for some, it provides real experience for the communications airmen. For the exercise, we, we treat it as real world. Uh, although there are personnel exercising and we are doing training, we have to make sure that our equipment works just as it would in real world so that the exercise participants can get their mission completed. Our goals are to get the communications up as quick as possible so they can start doing their, uh, their planning, their works, their mission, their mission related requirements. And during this exercise, we nailed it. They were ready to start planning prior to expectations. Their setup was one of the fastest during Sergeant Panola's time. They got their systems up and running in just 24 hours. One of the tactical communications airmen, Staff Sergeant Manuel Peloto, says they need to move quickly to ensure the mission runs smoothly. Without the, the internet and stuff, they either wouldn't be able to get the stuff as fast as they do now so that they can keep you know, the mission going at a smooth pace. For the radios, if you can't talk to the planes, the controllers can't put lead on target. The efficiency of the tactical communications airmen was key in the overall success of exercise Operation Torn Archer. Airman First Class James Merriman, McDill Air Force Base, Florida.